Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year to begin with. BoxingScene.com with maybe one of the busiest trainers in 2007, also president of Havoc Boxing and Apparel, also trainer of one of the U.S. of A Olympic members in the baby. boxing team, baby. Ali Saddam. Um, the man has a lot on his plate. He's he's had a tremendous 2007, and we want to we want him to tell us about it. Andre, tell us about the year 2007 and what it was for you. Oh well, 2007 it had its ups and downs. Uh, we're ending on a very strong positive note. Uh, this last three weeks that have just um, transpired. We had Tony Grano, second round knockout. We had Daniel Jacobs making his world debut with a first round knockout. And Joe Green cleaned up the show with a, with a very strong eight round performance against a very crafty, wily veteran. Andre, I want to take you down a trip of 2007. I want you to give me your thoughts. In 2007, after training numerous Golden Glove champions, you finally received your first pair of Golden Gloves. Tell us about that. Oh, you want to make me cry on film. Oh, it was a fantastic feeling. Uh, Saddam told me he was, and, and he did. He gave me the gloves, and, and I've had over 14 Golden Glove champions. He was the first one to give it to me, and I, you know, he's like, like a son to me. I love him to death. Andre, in 2007, also, Gary Starks got stopped in, in a scary fashion. You worked this corner that day. Share with us your feelings about that. Well, as I always say, if you have a man hurt, conclude the fight. Don't let a man live for the next round when you have him hurt in the previous round. Gary had Desma hurt on the canvas. He got up, and instead of finishing up the, the fight in the next round, he gave him room to work, and the consequences were rendered in the ring. You don't let a man live when you have him hurt. At one of your lowest points in, in the game of boxing, HBO televised fight, one of the top stars coming out of 2007, Curtis Stevens, gave you one of the performances that you were not happy with. I'm sure it was a sad moment in, in your life. Tell us about that. Well, I was very disappointed. Um, I, I knew Darrell was going to move. I knew he was going to be on his bicycle. But I expected Curtis to at least touch him enough to get the decision. He didn't do that. He gave him the chance to move around the ring. I don't know if he was caught in the moment or whatever it might have been. But it was very disappointing. Uh, I didn't expect Curtis to to stop Andre, but I expected him to win. And he had the chance to do that, and he didn't. So I, it was a very, very disappointing moment for me. And um, we're looking to bring him back, and get him refocused. He's a young athlete. He's 22 years old, and uh, he has a long career ahead of him if he puts the, the numbers together and he works hard. In 2007, you watch a, another guy that you, you were involved with er, since early in his career lose the contender title, the contender title, Jadon Codgerton. What went through your mind? Oh, God. Uh, that was another disappointing moment. Jadon fought with all the heart, soul, and desire of a true warrior. He didn't fight the right fight. And, and quite honestly, uh, I will tell you, we all take the blame for it. I, I myself take the blame because I should have been up there in camp with him helping out, but I wasn't. I was working with another athlete. I should have took everybody to camp because this was so important to Jay Don. It, it's not even funny. We came up short, and I would never, ever allow that to happen again. If and when Jay Don Codgerton rematches Bika because we want that, we, we need to have it, I will be at Jay Don's side. I'm not his primary trainer, but I am, his, I am his push, soul, and desire. And I will be there to help whoever is there make sure that Jadon becomes victorious in this rematch. And he will be stopping Beaker as, as the powers vested in me will manifest themselves in him. He's going to get Beaker this time. How sad was it for you when Danny Jacobs lost his bid for the Olympics? Oh. Dan, Danny is Danny's like my son. 
and uh, it was a very, very disappointing moment. And that was one of the moments that almost brought me to tears. I knew that Saddam and Danny were going to be Olympians, and no one could tell me otherwise, but Danny chose a different route. And I always keep it real. I never sugarcoat this thing. Then he thought that it would be better to, to listen to outside influences and forces, and what happened, he came up short. He lost his position, and he didn't become an Olympian. We were undefeated for three and a half years, Victor Roundtree, Danny, and myself. Why would you change the formula? Why would you add something new to the recipe? It didn't work. Well, obviously, he realized it didn't work. 2007 also brought you two back together for his pro debut under Mayweather Hatton. Why don't you tell the people who weren't in attendance and who didn't see the fight about that performance? Well, well, once again, we 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 did get back together, and Danny, excuse me, I'm a little hoarse. It's like exciting night. Danny was in rare form. He started about with, with a really strong jab. He threw several combinations, and then he landed the picture-perfect left hook, and that's all she wrote. Tell us about tonight and me, Joe Green, winning his bout in a tough decision. Well, we needed this. Uh, this Patrick Thompson, I give all kudos to him. He came in. He roughed us, he roughed us up. He gave us veteran lessons. He stayed close to Joe. He, he dug inside, he held, he did everything, he used his shoulder, did everything that a wily veteran is supposed to do against a young, upcoming prospect. Teach him. He gave him lessons, taught him great lessons today. And I appreciate Patrick's effort, and now we have more lessons to learn and more boxing techniques to practice so that we can be ready to be the upper epsilon in the middleweight division. Most importantly, what, what can you tell us about 2007 and the year that made Havoc boxing synonymous with the sport of boxing? Well, all love due to everyone involved in boxing, um, my family, you, you guys know your family, everyone has seemed to just embrace the Havoc way of life. Havoc boxing gear, without being told, is the number one boxing clothing company on the planet. We're not the biggest. We don't have the most money, but we are the best. And in that, everyone has come to our side and ridden with us on this bus. We're not on a motorcycle. We're not in a convertible. We're on a bus because we're packing as many people on as possible. And we're going all the way to the top. 2008 is going to be bigger and better. We're working with fantastic people. Uh, Leon Margolis from Warriors is part of the family now, and we're just going to keep growing, and it's all about havoc. We're in the hurt business, and that's what it's all about. Any happy holiday wishes to your family, your loved ones, boxing fans all around the world? My only wish for Christmas is for everyone to be here in 2008 because we're going to have a fantastic year. It's going to be bigger and better than 2007, and... All my love, peace and love to everyone in the boxing family. And as always, we appreciate your time. My brothers, we are in the hurt business. It's havoc time. <laughs>